All right. It's early Friday morning, guys. That's about 6.43 for me. So I'm going to knock this out. Then I'm going to start getting some work done for the day. Actually, right? Um, I stopped by my Walmart last night, and they finally restocked. Uh, I was really looking for the trading cards, but they keep these, obviously, right next to them. And uh, these things were full. Nobody touched them. The best cards were gone, but these were full. <laughs> them guys and flippers don't know about these. Shh. All right, guys. Um, I got nine of them. I opened one. I had the uh, I got bit by the autofocus on my camera, so I didn't turn it off. So I'll show you what I got in that real quick. I was trying to check out some videos though earlier in the week because I was hoping to see them because I knew they hadn't came in yet. This is the black cat one, and seems like I watched one guy. He didn't hit anything. You know, so it seems like it's kind of a gamble. And of course, mine are all like that. Black cat one was a was a key anyway. So, but it is damaged. It's got like a little one little tick on it. That's it. But this has got like right here. It's got some stuff wrong with this. The one for ten, I'm guessing for Eternals. That's what it looks like. Um, might be pressable. All right. So that's what we got out of the black cat annual right there. All right. Now let's get into the extreme carnage one. You see how it's all like jacked up. I mean, these front ones are these are all shit. It's probably all the damages everybody's been. Sent. Well, no, we don't really send damages back to Diamond that much. Do we? Sometimes they've had me send them back, but more times than not, they don't. So, I depend. I don't know how much or whatever. Yeah, there's damage all along this thing so this is goes into the uh garage sale bin and we guess we got another internals one for ten a new mutants 19 how's this one faring up it's damage at the bottom right there so yeah Definitely have some variants in here. The two for two right now. I'm guessing that's one for ten because it's that kind of design variant. And those generally are the one for tens. I don't care for them. The second extreme cartridge. Ah. Not damage. I don't want to damage them. All right, extreme carnage, number two. Some ticks on that one as well. Ticks on every one of these. Fantastic Four Thirty Three. I've been getting this series too, so that's cool. I don't think I got this cover though. It's the variant. Usually, I just get the A on these. Oh, nice. Uh, it's fucking. Oh my god. Sorry about my language. There's like one, two, three, four. Four ticks on there. Spider-Man number one. It's a virgin. So I don't know. You guys know which one this one is. Well, I can look it up. Let me know, but it's... Oh my gosh. Jesus. Very damaged. Nobody really talked about how badly damaged they were on any of the videos I saw. So guys, so far, I've opened three. And let me tell you, the damage has been readily available. To say the least. <laughs> Ooh. All right, is this the first Aliens? Yes, it is. This has all been color-breaking spine damage. I mean, one jacked-up corner, so... There's your damage right there again. All the way down. And Quicksilver, no surrender number four. This one actually looks pretty decent. Now, there's some stuff there. It might be pressable, though, but 
I mean, do we really gotta press Quicksilver no, no Surrender number four? I don't know anything about that book, so maybe, I don't know. These days, you never know. Uh, Internals number one variant. I don't know what the hell this one is. They had so many variants for Internals number one. There was like a gazillion. That I don't even know which one this one is. But it's all jacked up. I don't think there's any. Oof. No, it's breaking right there. Eh. More garbage. That Spider-Man one's a nice-ass cover, too. That's too bad it's all messed up. And he had, like, one tick. I could live with it, but... Four? I think that's what it is. Diamonds unloading all their damage. Jacked up. Spider Man, the Miles Morales, the Clone Saga. Eh. Probably fixable if I really wanted to. So damaged. Miles Morales, Spider Man number 25. I don't remember this this was a big deal or not. Can't remember. Fairly new one. The Clone Saga as well, so remember if either one of those was a one for twenty five or not. This one Nah, I wouldn't say variant on maybe, I don't know. Don't know. There's just too many to remember. Alien, number three. What's bad is, they're so damaged that I don't even feel right about selling them. You know what I mean? So modern comics, they're significantly damaged. If they're not keys, I think they're going in the trash can. If they're keys, like good spec keys and like a really high ratio, maybe I could sell it for five, ten bucks. Just put down on there damaged as blank. Also, damaged. Look at all the. Eh. Yeah, one color break in there. And then one. And one there. Oh, whatever. Another Quicksilver number four. An X Men red variant that's also damaged. Usually when they have these like this, it's like a ratio, but I'm not sure. I don't know a lot about X-Men Red. I'm going to guess it's a ratio. And there's corner damage right down there. See that too? Boom, boom. Both color breaking. More damage. I'll get the most use out of these when I ship my trading cards. Cut them off. <laughs> that's what I... That's my 80 bucks on some boards. <laughs> a nine boards. It's crazy that... It seems like they... They definitely deliberately put all the damage in there because I got some other Walmart packs out of the same store over the last, you know, couple years and... They haven't been this bad. You know, generally they're pretty good shape. They're never the ones in the back. One is damaged. It's the one in the front from the shrink wrap or something like that. I've never seen any of this bad. Okay. Where do we see? We see that we got that one. This one doesn't look too bad right here for a cover one. This one actually looks pretty decent. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Two variants on there. I think this one was a uh, one for 50 or one for 25 as well. And that looks half decent. A little bit of a crink right there, but I don't know if it's color breaking or not. And definitely might be pressable. Probably get a 9.6 out of it though. And this one's pressable too, not color breaking right there. Doesn't look like it. There's a staple. That's a staple you see. 
corner's a little jacked up. Yeah, that's probably a 9.6 too. So that's pretty cool. I wanted some of the Spider-Man ones. I never got them. Got those. I don't buy. I don't jump into the whole variant. The second print, buy 25 for 25, 1 for 25 variant second print. To me, that's full as gold. I don't think they ever pan out. Uh, people will end up ordering so much of those that the 1 for 25s go for like 10 bucks. You know, unsold, you can find them on there for like 10 bucks, 11 bucks, 12 bucks. You know, then you're stuck with all these second prints that everybody's got a gazillion of. And many times the second print's becoming more heavily printed than the first print. So, gotta watch out for that. That's, that's, you don't want that. That's garbage. And here we go again. Aha! Uh -huh. Woohoo! So these Star Wars ones are the ones that you want. And yeah, corners, the corners down here at the bottom. Not super bad, but bad enough to where you're not going to get a 9.8 on it. These are nine. Those are nine sixes. Maybe naming a nine four. Not bad again. This corner is the worst one I've seen on these. Even like a nine four, nine two on that. Man. Okay, so that's cool though. At least we're gonna make our money back on these on this stuff. And these High Republic ones have been pretty good. And I do always save me a copy of the High Republic of all the Star Wars stuff. I usually keep the damaged stuff anyway, to be honest with you. Sometimes I do. Um, some stuff I order just for me that I don't even sell. You know what I mean? It's, like, I think it's a reader book. Reader issue. The series that I like. And it's not sellable to me. Well, everything's sellable, but... I don't want to sell. I don't think it's worth me selling it. So on those, I just get like a couple, maybe the A and a B, something like that, you know. In that case, I end up with the good copies. But as long as they didn't, those didn't come damaged, they do sometimes. Cranking that one. Okay, we got the lenticular. I didn't get the. Um, maybe I'll have to. I'll go back there today. And might as well grab the other three. Because I did not get the Silver Surfer. And I saw that Silver Surfer. I don't care for these headshot variants. I think these are ugly as hell. And please, I hope you guys stopped making them. Stupid idea. They're ugly. That is ugly. What is good about that cover? I don't know. Look at that. Particular Wolverine. Black Panther. Pretty cool idea. They both got the... Uh, all right, guys, so that's what you can get out of the Walmart packs. All right, guys, uh, got to hit my Dollar Tree up today, too. DVD, Blu-ray day, right? All right, guys, like, share, subscribe. Bye for now, and off to the next. Good luck. Later.